We are indeed going through a great recession in 2020. Why are we not seeing property prices in Dubai free falling as a result of this recession? If you're waiting for financial crisis so you can get the best prices in the market, I got news for you. We're already in financial crisis. The wisest step to do is to invest only in what you can understand because you can control only what you can understand. That's why I call it trade talk with Firas Amsaddi. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Straight Talk with Firas Al Masaddi. In this episode, I will be addressing one of the most debated questions about the real estate market in Dubai. Why are we not seeing a free fall in the property prices in Dubai, despite the fact that we are all going through a global economic recession? Well, for many, they remember the 2009 recession that has resulted in almost an immediate free fall in prices across all areas in Dubai of probably 50%, if not even more. And of course, we're not seeing this in 2020. I don't think that we will even witness such a free fall in prices during 2020 because A, as you can see here on the screen, the number of sales transactions in Dubai and the value of those sales transactions since 2014 up to 2020 went down by almost 50%. So we were talking about 62 billion worth of sales transactions for ready apartments in Dubai uh, during 2014 that went down to 37 billion worth of sales of ready properties, of ready apartments uh, in 2019. Of course, the number of sales transactions also has dropped uh, from 42,000 sales transactions in 2014 all the way to uh, 22,000 transactions. And if you look at the medium, so that's a, a drop of almost 50% that has been happening gradually. So many people did not feel it because of course, people have entered the market at different stages during the past six years. Uh, also, if you look at the value, the median price per square foot in Dubai, across all Dubai areas for apartments, uh, it was 1,128 during 2014. It went down all the way to 790 uh, in 2020. So that is A. B, as we arrive to 2020, we don't have a mortgage bubble. The same one that we had in 2009 because banks have been extremely conservative when it comes to the loan to value, when it comes to their real estate exposure on, the, on their balance sheets, when it comes to even the requirements of uh, granting a loan to individuals. So hence, that leads me to C, the fact that we don't have speculators in this market. So uh, because the market have been dropping for the past six years, because banks have been very conservative when it comes to lending, so we don't have speculators. People who've entered the market, especially in the past three years, they entered the market for the right cause, with the right plan of a, a medium to a long-term view. So we don't have speculators who paid the first payment and they don't have the second or the third payment. I'm assuming that most of the investors who invested in Dubai in the past three years have invested with a medium to long-term plan. So they plan their cash flow very, very well. Hence, we don't see um, the, the level of desperation to sell and to exit the market that we've seen uh, during 2009 crisis. So for sellers, of course, it's always wrong to sell in a down market. But I understand that some sellers need to exit for one reason or another, but I don't want sellers to exit for the wrong reason. Don't exit as a seller because you're worried about a sharp drop in the real estate prices in Dubai because I don't see that happening, especially or at least uh, looking at the data and the market fundamentals that are briefly uh, uh, discussed with you in this video. Uh, of course, for buyers, I think definitely it is the right time to leverage on the following facts. Number one, six years price low, um, probably all time uh, interest low. Uh, if you look at the LTV, probably it's all time high LTV since the 2009 recession. And of course that shows a lot of confidence from the central bank in the real estate market in Dubai. Uh, in addition to that, and that's I would say the most important fact is that it's time for buyers with the right financial capability to look at the most prime assets, the most prime units in Dubai, in, your, in the project of your interest. And trust me when I tell you that investors who acquired properties during the 2009 recession and made millions of dollars worth of profit by 2014, they did not know back then in 2009 whether the market will continue to drop or that was the bottom. 
they didn't know why would the market bounce back and they didn't know when will the market exactly bounce back but they knew three things they knew that they had the financial capabilities they knew that they're buying in a very low market and they knew that every down market will come back up at some point of time well uh, this is the end of this episode uh, thank you very much you were watching straight talk with firas al masadi feel free to subscribe if you're watching this video on youtube please leave me a comment or a question and i would love to address all your questions uh, about the real estate market in dubai stay tuned for many more to come thank you